We continue on section 20.4. We are in the last example, which is about the momentum space. It will solve the a three dimensional Schrodinger equation as an example. So the form of the Schrodinger equation in three dimension is given by uh, this form, so minus one half the Parisian psi, which depends on all in three dimension, minus one of all. This basically is the Coulomb. Actually, I should not, it's not the vector, it's just the distance. It's the Coulomb potential one of all magnitude psi all equals to energy eigenfunction eigenvalues e times psi all. all right, so this is the a, a, a form of the Schrodinger equation term independent Schrodinger equation. Now, uh, just like the what we mentioned last time, so the V is one over R, and we can then uh, use the Fourier trans, put it in a convolution. Okay, so, uh, and then the, this gradient will, uh, when you do the Fourier transform, you will get negative K squared. So all together will be K squared over two, and the free transfer of psi becomes this phi function that depends on the k space. Okay, and then uh, this one becomes a convolution. So in three dimension convolution, you have one over two pi, three half. Now we're integrating the volume, dk pi, but then uh, we have the Fourier transform of one of R, Fourier transform evaluate at k minus k pi, and then phi depends on k pi and integrate volume integration of the k pi space. So this is the three dimension convolution that uh, is the transform of this product, one of R times psi, we get give you this convolution, okay? And then uh, the right hand side simple is just e times phi in the k space. Okay, now the one of our free transform is uh, we have done that a couple of times. You can look that up. Uh, in, this is in equation 20.42. So by uh, 20.42. We have a uh, one of all for the transform equals to one over two pi three half times four pi of a k square. All right, so we can substitute that into here. So what we have is k square over two phi. So you have two pi three half, uh, two of them. So you have uh, so minus one over two pi cubic power, and then you have uh, another extra four pi, back to four pi, and integrate. Now you have a uh, phi k pi d k pi three dimension. Now this is equal to k minus k pi, so absolute value k minus k pi square. Okay, so this is uh, the left hand side, the right hand side is just simple, it's e to the psi phi, equal to k in the k space. Okay, so that's, uh, the Schrodinger equation, at least with the Coulomb potential and in the convolution form and get to this form, All right? But uh, now this is uh, a, an integral equation to solve for uh, the eigenvalue and eigenfunction. So it, 
it may not be easy to do in general, but then uh, for the rest of this example, it's just assuming that uh, assuming psi, assuming the original wave function phi is proportional to exponential minus r. Just uh, simply that in some dimensionless uh, variable. So, uh, and the free transform one of uh, e to the minus r, we already know that uh, in 20 point 40, 44, 20 point 44. So 20 point 44, uh, give you the free transform of e to the minus r. Free transform give you one of a two pi, three half power, and eight pi over k squared plus one square. Okay, so then uh, because of that, so the free transform of psi will become so little phi, so little phi will be proportional to um, k squared plus one square in inverse. Okay, so phi k will be proportional to that, so we just uh, write it like a constant c divided by k squared plus one square. Okay, so that is uh, phi k. Whether this is a correct wave, wave function uh, solution for this equation, we don't no yet, we will need to substitute this into this uh, integral and see if we can evaluate this integration. But uh, after you substitute this into that, so what you have is uh, the left hand side c k square over two k square plus one square, and the integration here you have c and then cancel this is your four pi and two pi q in the denominator so all together you have c over two pi square and integrating uh, d cube k pi and evaluate k minus k pi square, which is this one, and then uh, this k pi square plus one square in here, and uh, equals to e times c divided by k square plus one square. Okay, now uh, this, this involves this integral, this integral, it, uh, it's not difficult to solve, but it takes a little bit of work. I probably show that in the next video, but uh, the answer uh, this integral end up equals to pi square over k square plus one. So uh, all together you have a uh, actual c cancel, so you have a uh, k square over two k square plus one square minus uh, so pi square cancel of this pi square we we'll, we'll get the uh, one over two k square plus one equals to e divided by k square plus one square okay and you group these two together you get the uh, two k square plus one square and k square my k square you have another k square plus one in here so k square minus k square plus one it gives you minus one that give you in part e equals to minus one half so indeed this is a the eigenfunction and the eigenvalue e equals to minus one half so this is an example to use the convolution to solve the Schrodinger equation in three dimension. So 
that's all for this example. I'll show the integral, how to solve the integral next time.